I was incredibly worried about having to come out of my home, but I've had video consultations, I've had tests done and a face-to-face -face consultation now. All since lockdown, I feel very at ease and I can't praise the team enough. I mean, the hospital have been fantastic. I was so impressed with the whole setup that I picked up one of those forms at the door as you go out and I filled that in and gave it into them because I said, I think you're doing very well if this is the way you're running things now. When patients come here, they will feel safe from the minute they enter the hospital. As you drive into the premises, you're greeted by somebody who will show you the best place to park and in the entrance, somebody else will take your temperature, give you some protective masks. And that sense, you know, carries through to all the, the clinical areas, ward and theatre environments where social distancing is rigidly applied. And so I, I think the message to our patients should be that if you need to come to hospital, then we will do everything in our power to make that a safe visit. The most important thing is making sure the patients and staff are safe. We've staggered our appointment times so we only have certain numbers of patients in the department at the same time. We have rearranged our waiting areas so we can separate patients. We are asking them to arrive on time, not to bring anybody with them. They can go straight in for their scans and with minimum fuss. Patients clearly are going to have very definite anxieties about COVID and having surgery or having treatments at a time that COVID is still around in our society. But to be able to show them that we've got pathways that have kept our patients safe, that's going to be very, very important as we move forward. Clearly it's been challenging times, but out of challenges comes innovation. We looked at the infrastructure of our hospital so that we could separate patients in the respect of whether they're an inpatient or an outpatient. Simple things, say so video and teleconferencing for our outpatients. And I think that innovation is here to stay and we've been absolutely so proud of the team and what they've done to be able to provide the patient care that we have done. We have impeccable infection prevention standards and those standards we have fully embedded into all of our workforce so this hospital has gone through a significant transformation. There are hand gel stations everywhere you turn in the hospital and people are actively encouraged to use them, installing a huge number of additional hand wash basins, replacing old tired worn hand wash basins so we are absolutely at the top of our game in terms of infection prevention. Ultimately you want what's best for the patient and for some patients that will be perfectly fine to do via a telephone or virtually but for some patients for their best outcome you will need to see them face to face and, and do some hands-on treatment with them but then we're in our full masks, visors, gloves, aprons and there's a very set system of where the patients go and their entrances and exits. I think we all felt that we were doing something useful and worthwhile. I think everyone's risen to the challenge amazingly and I'm really really proud to work here. I had to go to a waiting room in the MRI area. I mean, I couldn't have been safer and I felt very much part of the process. It's very well structured and I don't feel concerned for my safety here. I feel that everybody is doing everything they can to look after my needs. It's not overcrowded, it's not busy. It's just a very pleasant experience, it's not scary. It's very straightforward and it's incredibly thorough. As we come out and we start to de-escalate, exactly what we want to do is be able to bring our patients back to the hospital, those who have been waiting, those that are apprehensive, because clearly the requirement for them to have their operation hasn't gone away. So I would say to people, we have a safe environment for us to be able to deliver that quality care that they need. Mm -hmm.